Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. We're going to be talking about something I saw on Instagram on Portia Williams's this particular picture on Simon Gabalia's Instagram page. Why has he got Portia Mama looking all sexy up in his Instagram account? What is going on girl? Welcome to another segment of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why not? Because I can't, can and I can't, can can't, can I can't, can and I will. Man, you saying Simon Gabalio was your choice, but were you his choice, Portia? I mean, we all know he liked younger women. We know he tattooed your name and gave a similar engagement ring, like he gave his ex-wife a ring. We know he likes showing similarities and favoritisms uh, towards you and Fallon on to a certain degree. Even though Fallon, Fallon was his wife and you were his girlfriend. I just think it's totally disrespectful that he had your mama on his timeline. Okay? I wouldn't even have accepted this picture on Simon Gabadia's timeline. Talking about, happy birthday, uh, Miss Diane. Okay, my mama-in-law. I'm like, no, she's not your mama-in-law. That's incorrect. You ain't got married to uh, Portia. And we don't even know if we really want you to. Okay, but that's Mr. Larry. That's Diane's boyfriend, her man, her companion. And I know he got something to say about you. Got Diane looking all sexy on your platform. Simon, that's just piss poor judgment. And Portia, you should have been told him to take that damn picture down and put a suitable one. Hell, he could have put one of you and your mama. That would have been more suitable. But see, I don't never trust a man that's in an in-house uh, arena and got shades on. What the hell is that? What is that? That is such a young kid's move, I tell you. But this is the picture I'm talking about. You know that's too sexy to be on Portia's boyfriend's Yuri Gabadia's, uh Instagram account. Trying to sing her praises and all this, that, and the third time. He ain't going to never hurt her daughter. He, 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 he looking out for the best interest of her daughter. But posting a picture like that. I'm like, man. If Larry ain't mad, I'm mad for Larry not to be mad. Okay? Because that's just showing disrespect. Another man got your woman, Diane, on his Instagram account. Looking all sexy, sexy, sexy. You know what I'm saying? Just dripping all sexy, sexy, sexy. Like he wanted to get with her. Like he wanted to make her part of his entourage. Larry, you better check that eagle. You best check that eagle. Because just like Portia said, ain't no shame in her game. It should have been some shame in your game. Because you should have said, no, Simon. Take that picture down. I don't want my mama on your Instagram. I don't like the optics. I'm feeling some kind of way. Take that shit down. Okay? But, you know, Portia always said Simon had a problem with always posting stuff and saying stuff on social media without checking with her. Okay? I'm like, okay, Simon. We telling you over here on Dale Chanel's 40th word. Take that shit down. That's totally disrespectful. That's disrespecting Portia. That's disrespecting her mama. And thirdly, that's disrespecting Larry, who is her boyfriend. Okay? And then you're going to call Portia mama. What he said? Elder or something like, damn, she's 64. And Simon, you 60 from what the streets are saying out there. Y'all are equally yoked in that senior citizen's age, okay? In 62, you can go and retire. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, honey. Go on into the pasture. But I'm like, I know you ain't trying to do both women at the same time. Behind Larry back and behind Portia back. Like, whoo, that got the other side of that blue Woo, Rose. What is she cute? Ooh, and she cute. Ah, ooh, I'm gonna always have this in my videos when I be doing comparison and contrasting. You know what I'm saying? Cause he talking about he probably told Fallon Mama or Dad, I'm gonna take care of your daughter. I'm gonna take care of your daughter. Whining and dying of her, letting her go on excursions with uh him, buying a car. So he do the same thing in you, Portia. But yet. He telling your mama he got you. But in the same breath, we he said he probably he t probably told uh, Fallon's parents the same shit. Okay? But I think she walked with that blue Rolls Royce. I think she walked with that. That's a sharp ass car. I'm telling you. Might get my truck painted that color. But anyway, because um, it's a girly truck that I have. But 
it just is what it is. But that blue is just killing it, killing it. But Simon, you know, that's that's portrait he was talking to, uh, Miss uh, Auntie Lee is at the Jose Williams thing. We know how that acted up. But I'm like that Erica, he just looked too, you know, mysterious. Like not for the good part, but for the bad part. And I'm like, he ain't stand you and all these folks you call yourself with your friends at that little thing. I'm like, Porsche, 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 where are your friends, baby? What about your friends? Not your entourage, but your friends. Okay. But I'm like, oh, girl. You would never beat out Fallon. Okay, stop trying. She's much younger than you. You have an age on you. Okay. And Fallon ain't really steady you. She tried to tell you pretty much her life was going downhill with Simon Gavardian. I'm sure she told you in so many terms that he wasn't a good person. Now, I'm not saying Fallon wasn't good. It was good, too, because she did have that baby while they were separated or off or, or I don't know what was going on. So, we can't we can't blame Portia and not blame Fallon. It was some indiscretion going on between whether Fallon want to be truthful about the situation or not. You know what I'm saying? But the man knew. He had two women he was seeing. He knew. See, he could have been the wiser tool, the sharpest tool in the shed and said, hey, let me finish with her. You know, I can wine and dine you, whatever. Maybe do a little kissy here or there, whatever. But we can't have no sex. We, 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 you know, I, I just can't do it. I just, I just really forget the kissy part, okay? Because that'll be one more me want you more. But, you know, Porsche probably say, oh, go on and go on and do it. Go on and do it. We can do it all. We just keep it on wraps, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the kind of person Porsche is, all right? It's, and I can't make this shit up because she did it in her book. She That was supposed to be an autobiography about her life. So she did it in her book. She did this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very plausible. Okay. It's probably 98% more truth that she messed with this married man probably uh, when the taping was going on Real Housewives of Atlanta. It just is what it is. That's how far she get down. Love her like it. Gotta have more. Being different with her. It just is what it is. She's giving it to us. So we're accepting it. We're saying, okay, you're just ratchetness. But for her... To let Simon, knowing that's Larry, that Larry, dressed up, love himself some Diane, and Diane hopefully loves him as well. Totally disrespectful for your boyfriend to put Diane in a sexy outfit on his Instagram account wishing her a 64-year-old birthday. Okay? He needed a more motherly, elderly picture on his birthday, uh, on, on his Instagram account featuring your mom's birthday. But I'm like, is he not giving you enough? Are you not giving Simon enough? Girl, you got the body, bam. You got the looks, bam, bam. You know, and then I'm pretty sure you serving him up every time you can get, bam, bam, bam. So why is he taking a photo of your mama's sexuality? And she is looking good on that picture. I ain't got no, and 64 too, she doing it and doing it well. But it seems like in all your assets, all your bodiness, you know, going on, he looking at both of y'all like, damn, I can help both of y'all. An older version that's closer to my age that I should be dating the mama, Diane. But then I got her princess where she's the picture image. You know what I'm talking about? Like, okay, are y'all, are you doing Larry, Portia, and Simon want to do your mama? Do y'all have like a square thing going on? or uh, open relation? I, I see, that's too much for me to phantom. Let me take that, take that back. Uh, streak the line. Cut the, cut the camera off. Let me retract that statement. But I'm just saying, that's what it gave me when I was thinking about this shit. Like, do y'all have a single thing going on? A swinging thing going on? Because it just don't make no sense. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. No. He should not have your mama picture up there on his Instagram account. So, I'm like, I don't know if you're winning, Portia. I don't know if you're winning. Because you're saying uh, the, uh, you ain't quit, so you still winning. It's when you quit, you start winning. But I don't know if you're winning in this situation, girl. First, you had Dennis and all his mess. And then you got Simon pushing your mama pitch on his Instagram account like he lusting out the hood. I'm birth right. This shit is too much. And I'd be damned if I let my boyfriend have a picture of my mama looking sexy like that. Unless it was all three of us in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, he would not have my mama picture up there. You know what I'm saying? Looking at all her glory. You can even imagine, you know, what she got up under there. And that's just nasty. That's, ooh. Child. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's a portrait picture of two loving parents. Uh, well, 
Well, she loves him like a dad. I'm sure Portia does. But see how Portia's in the middle and you got that? Now, see, that should have been the same thing. Portia and uh, Simon on one side and put Diane in the middle. And he's singing her accolades and her giving her her praises, her flowers while she's still living now. That should have been on his Instagram account. I don't know. I'll tell you that man is just, mm, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a good feeling about him or anything. All right? I just know he loves nice-looking women. He likes to wine and dine them. And then throw them away. He did that to family. You know, even though he was probably wishing that baby she was carrying was his. Mm-hmm. I said it. I think that's what he thought, too. But when it came up to be somebody else's baby, that made him even madder. Okay? But it is what it is, honey. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my God. That's that car. It's gorgeous. Okay? But let me read this article. Well, really not article. We're on uh, Yuri's uh instagram post he had that post that i told y'all just too revealing of miss diane and her burgundy red um jubilee type of address he goes on to say happy birthday to my future mother-in-law miss diane official that's her instagram account your aquarian heart reminds me of my mother okay well then if you if her heart reminded you of your mama why are you gonna have a sexy picture like that of her that, that don't make no sense Simon. but moving on no surprise, you both almost share a birthday. And lo and behold, his mother's birthday is my birthday, which was celebrated this past Saturday, January 22nd. Okay. All right. And it says uh, January 22nd and January 24th. See, that's why I said Diane's uh, birthday is January 24th. Uh, respectively. You have nothing but kind words for everyone you come in contact with. You are a perfect uh, exemplification of... Of the quote, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, he must don't know Diane, because Diane have definitely said some shit, okay? She have talked about Miss Gina in unflattering ways. She's definitely talked about Dennis in unflattering ways. Uh, and hell, she probably talked about her own family members in unflattering ways. We just didn't see it on TV. Because she talked about Mama Gina. Mm-hmm. And it was shown in uh, Portia Family Matters little sitcom show she had all right so what he talking about i don't know what the hell he talking about all right guys but anyway um she he wants on to say you inspire me to be a better person than just watching how you live your life i promise i will not disappoint you i will always love and care for your precious child portia for real okay and i'm like Ugh. sit your ass down simon because you probably said the same thing to fallon's parents okay you probably said the same shit. And look where we at with her. You're divorced up. You got a moving truck, a van or whatever, and sent her on her merry way. So who's to say you won't do Diane's child like that? Portia, who you claim to love, care for, cherish, and want to marry her one day. Isn't that the piece de resistance? Bullshit is what I say. Bullshit. But then uh, Miss Diane goes on and responds back to Simon. Uh, saying, Simon, my future son-in-law, I thank you for those beautiful, kind words, the lovely the lovely surprise birthday, dinner slash party. I always thank God for peace, happiness, and blessings for my family and friends. I'm glad that you are a great part of. I'm like, did you say the same shit with Dennis, uh, Diane? You loved him, you respected him, and you, you wanted him in the family. So I'm like, double standard, double-minded person. What, kind, what are you? Aquarians don't act like that, okay? We pretty much tell you what we're going to do. If we're not happy, we moving on, okay? We might give you a benefit, but you keep showing us shit. we moving on. And we're going to still love you from afar. We're going to be angry with you. We're going to let things slide. But we're going to forgive you, but we ain't going to forget. And we ain't going to pretty much F with you anymore either. That's how Aquarius move. We love everybody. We love everything. You know what I'm saying? But we set boundaries. We good at setting boundaries. And when you keep, keep crossing them boundaries for the negative, we cut you off. We, we act like you don't even exist when you could be sitting in the same room with us. Because we like that. Once you hurt us, once you done showed us who you are, and you done made us believe that, you're, you're to the pretty much ghost in our eyes. All right? We ain't going to want to wish anything bad on you. We ain't going to wish anything comes negative towards your way. We just don't want you in our space anymore. Okay? 
So I, I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> Larry, go get your woman if you want her, because this man uh, with you know them glasses and stuff in an inside arena watching a basketball game. He he just seems like he's just too cool. Like, where's your mask, man? Where's your mask? Take them damn shades off, cause they're not glasses. They shades, they shades, baby. <sighs> but anyway, that's all I pretty much had of this particular interview. I just had to ask Portia. I wasn't gonna do it on her mother's celebration video. You know that that would be too that, that would be too cold. Cause I I love birthdays and I love celebrating other people's birthdays and giving them their flowers and and, and talking good about them when I can. Okay, but like I said, when you g- give me shit, I gotta talk about it. I gotta call, tell you like this is not what I perceive of you. This is not what you said you were. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do a cross and and, and check. We gotta do a comparison to some similarities. We 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 you don't know, check some balances, and it's not weighing up. Now her birthday. Everybody has a birthday. Everybody should definitely be selling their birthday and being very happy on that birthday. So I was gonna spoil that video, but I'm like piss poor judgment over here. I don't like the sign that's trying to infringe on Larry. I don't even know Larry. I only heard a voice, uh, what do you call it, a voice conversation that Portia was having with him about Dennis' and stuff and getting getting him stuff. And Mr. Larry telling him, yeah, he got stuff over there, baby. He got plates. He got this. He got that. And Portia said, oh, them here. Like she acting dumb and shit. But then you're going to allow your boyfriend to put a picture up there like that on his Instagram account. Uh-uh. As Pitt's poor portrait. And you supposed to be calling yourself like him. Your stepdad. If that's who he's going to be. But like I said. I think it's just more so. Uh, taxes issues. And how the government look. Uh, at two incomes of senior citizens. How they try to take their benefits away from them. Um, and they don't necessarily get married. They just say forget it. We'll just live together. You know what it is. I know what it is. And they just live it like that. And I think that's what her and uh, Mr. Larry is doing. But Simon, you know, it's, it's crazy. Crazy as hell, you know. You got all that pow, 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 face, body, and fashion. And, you, you know, you got connections now, Portia. And he's sitting up there posting that picture of your mama. I'm like, girl, if you don't see the writing on the wall, when will you ever? I mean, we don't see Simon as a good provider that he can really show you and tell you and prove to you what he's really worth where's his businesses where's his employees where you could try to film if you could okay he's talking about he want to marry you why don't he go on and marry you he don't need a special from bravo if anything he needs to pay for the wedding if he's a billionaire and that Bob, Bravo just film it and send y'all on an all expense paid honeymoon okay that would be nice but why would he need extras from Bravo if he really love you, he really care for you, and this, and that, third. Why is he keeping it a secret? Or why are you all keeping it as a secret if y'all have a wedding date? You see where I'm going with this portion? You don't gave him the full cow and the milk without any, uh, well, without any solidification that you're going to be his wife. That you are going to have your name on that house. That you are going to be a part of his wealth in case he die. You are taken care of for the rest of your life. You don't have to work. You don't have to be a part of any ratchet television programming or, or anything. Just live your life. Live it well. And do be an activism. A true activism where you back up what you say you're going to do. And you do it. And your characteristic and your demeanor follow suit with what you're saying you want to be out there in this world okay that's what i'm saying Porsche. all for the positivity but i don't think he's gonna do that for you i don't think so baby so don't have no baby by this man okay and definitely don't invest with him anymore because you know i think you're gonna got yourself into um what is it called investing in a restaurant even though we don't know where that is where you know when did that become a thing or any of that say your money for yourself and your baby girl honey because you're gonna need it Build your own wealth and separate it from him. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. So y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Please, please, please continue to subscribe so we can grow. We have more family members that I can talk with. Okay? Still love my old ones, but welcoming new ones. Please share my videos and like my videos, guys. Like. It's called like when you're ringing the doorbell when you're coming in, when you're exiting out, going to your own home subscribe and share when you open up that door to go out into the world that you once were a part of until you came into the youtube okay community you sat down with your favorite aunt grandmama mama sister 
cousin however you see me auntie all right i'm all in one okay and i like to drop nuggets to y'all through my own personal experience sis uh so y'all won't have to be going bumping your head and, and, and facing negativity on certain issues maybe i can help you with some of that all right so y'all can avoid all of those y'all can get that one up on life expectancies or i should say unexpectancies uh that you may go through and may may not know how to navigate but all right i will see y'all next video y'all be cool breezy and blessed bye bye